Hello and welcome to this Accomplished Beginners Blender tutorial number three. In this tutorial we will model a simple human-esque cartoonish figure. The first thing we need to do is to go to user preferences, check add-ons and do add mesh pipe joints, make sure that's there and uh, that uh, loop tools are there. So it's we're good to go. Seven and five on the num keypad, delete the default cube, shift A, and use the pipe joints, pipe end joint. It's a five uh, by default, and we keep that and change the divisions to 16. And one to look at it from the front, tab, control tab to do faces, A to deselect everything, alt. Alt and right mouse click and then Alt Shift right mouse click and then we'll use a tool. Here are the vertices. You can invoke that by just pressing Y on the alphanumeric keypad. Y in this case like that. And that's a, that takes that mesh apart. And uh, go to edge mode and uh, right mouse Alt Shift click this and do W and bridge. So now we have the start of the body. Then I'll select that ring, push that down a little bit, extrude it up, and then extrude it up again. This is, will be the head. And this top of the head, scale zero, enter, alt M at the center. So this is um, the, the figure with its uh, you know, say rudimentary head, it's not quite the head it will have eventually. You can maybe pull that down a little bit. Like this. Because in the next tutorial we'll uh, do a small face there, but uh, we don't have time for this in this one here. What I'll do now is select this and R to rotate and push it inward a little bit and I'll since the cursor is there and that's can also be changed of course but I'll select this loop here and then uh, sorry I wanted a cursor there so I'll choose 3D cursor as my rotating pivot and then R Y so you can rotate that down a little bit and then go back to uh, median point and R it automatically because of the view it does the Y and the Y and uh, let's see look at it from the side maybe I want to scale in the Z direction up a little bit like that this will be a shoulder and then E for extrude and keep rotating and just pushing it Whatever you decide to, what 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 you want it to look like, come down there about. Then we can take the start working on the legs. Scale it down a little bit. Like that, and then E for extrude. So these are very. It's a very simple figure like this, and then one, and then go to face mode and choose five of these. One, two, three, four. Uh, go for that one there. Then three, maybe not. Take that one instead. Three, and then extrude. One, twice, and then do extrude individual and that happens instantly so as soon as I start moving the mouse those faces will pull out like this and that's exactly what I wanted scale X scale it down a little bit and push it out maybe okay that's enough for the feet we're busy busy here and uh, A to deselect everything and then do shift A to add a plane this is the beginning of the hand. Scale it. Just 
see how that looks. Probably I'll just scale it in the X direction. Hands are kind of flat. So I'll keep that outside of the rest of the mesh for now and then just extrude it. One, two, three, and four times. And then I'll select this and uh, do R, Y, and then deselect like that. R, Y is kind of deselect as I go. And R, Y. I probably want another one uh, here for the, the wrist. So A, extrude that right straight up. Then this one for the opposable thumb. Three and the extrude E and scale. And I'm just gonna leave it with one join here on the on the thumb. You can of course improve on that. And then I'm gonna select and, and now alt shift selecting everything here on the on the hand. And I think it's all selected. Yes, it is. And I'll create a vertex group for it. Call it hand. Dot L. I'll assign that. Deselect, select. Yeah, okay, we got that. Then, so I'll select the hand and push it up like this. Deselect it. And um, now I want to remove this, the other half of it. So I'll turn this invisible selector on and do B for box and delete those faces. Add a mirror modifier as such, and uh, maybe. Select that, scale it down a little bit. No, that's not what we want to do because that will cause us problem later. We want to actually apply this mirror mo modifier before we do anything more. Um, so let's deselect that. And I'll just increase the merge limit here, 0 0.01. Have to make sure it actually takes. So there, and um, go to object mode and apply the modifier. Go back to edit mode here and see if it just it did take. Seems, and this is what I wanted to do here was scale it. and do edges and uh, scale that up. I mean, you can keep messing with this as, as much as you want, really. It's, you can keep refining the, the mesh and, and uh, do all kinds of things. So this is it, except for that I maybe want to do this little refinement here. And that's these two here. I'll select those edges, do W, and subdivide them. And then do face mode and select all these faces and do Alt-J on them. And then uh, I think that's just going to cause a little bit better, more flowing. Um, topology. Just move that down. That makes kind of sense if you look at it from that perspective. And uh, and then you can of course slim down all the you know all the all the features 
And these are really decisions that you want to take before you apply the mirror modifier. So this is just a really quick start how to create a you know, biped figure that is uh, you know, more than just um, a flat surface. It's a somewhat three-dimensional look. Looks robotic, but you can get all kinds of looks from it. You can also do this, of course, you add the subdivision surface modifier and uh, do everything and um, make sure you have uh, shade smooth. Top and then I'll move the light in front so I can see what it looks like when you render. I have to select the camera, grab C Z, uh, grab C Z, and then move out and then grab it and push it down and F12 to render. So there. So it's a start as a bipedal figure. It doesn't take a whole lot of time. So if you just need placeholders or some cartoonish characters. You can refine them better, but it's a start. So that's it for this tutorial. It's okay to like. It's okay to um, subscribe. And of course, you're welcome to add comments. And uh, thank you for listening. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.